Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, so one of the projects that I talked about earlier and I've been wanting to do for a while is rebasing all my Skaven units, my whole Skaven army, to round bases to fit with Age of Sigmar. I don't want to keep them on the square bases anymore. That's, I want to think of that as the old fantasy world and it's time to move along with them. So, I mentioned before on eBay that I bought round bases. I bought, the, I think they were 28mm or 25mm MDF round bases. Did a couple of units with them, they were perfect, everything worked out grand. So I wanted to move on to the bigger models. I have four big monster models for the Skaven army. I have two Hell Pit Abominations, one of them is a Conversion, a uh, Tankwell and Bone Ripper, and I have a Vermin Lord Deceiver. So the four of them need to get rebased onto round bases. I didn't want to get oval ones, I, I'm not too fond of the oval shaped bases. I think the round ones suit them a lot better. So I ordered four, maybe it was five, it was four or five, I think it was five I got off eBay and when they came, they were too big. You couldn't get away with them just having like a normal base, it was very noticeable, they were too big. So instead of trying to get new ones, I was thinking how can I work this in to using it to, to my advantage, you know. So then I thought, well why not try and build a big scenic base up. Do it on all of them, and then when I'm rebasing the rest of the army, try and keep that team of whatever I use for the monster bases to match the rest of the army. So, it's, I've been racking my head trying to think of what ways to do it. I have the Garden of More set, so I've been taking bits from that, dry fit and everything onto the base, and it works. If you build it up as a scenic base, the fact that the base is too big, for these models, well it's not like massively big, but it's just like a small bit too big. Um, but when you build them up as a scenic base, it works. Um, it can kind of tell a story about the army, just based on the scenic part of the base, you can tell where they are. And if I incorporate that into the rest of the army, then it kind of tells the whole story across the whole army. They're all, they're all in coherency. Um, so hopefully it works. Um, I started off working on the Vermin Lord Deceiver. So far, and you'll see this in a few minutes, it's been coming along really good. It's nearly finished. All I have to do is refinish. All I have to do is put like a few finishing touches on it. Um, and then obviously I have to glue the Vermin Lord Deceiver on. But enough talking about it. Let's have a look at the model itself. Well, the base itself. And what I'm going to do is talk through um, what I was thinking and how it's all going to work out. Alright, so this is the piece that I chose for the Vermin Lord. Um, this is obviously the front part of the Garden of Moor, the entrance into the graveyard. It had metal gates here, but I took them out because I had a few ideas with them. I might like put like the metal gate all broke up on the floor, that could be a thing. Um, I had to cut the sides of it to trim it down to get it to fit onto the big round base. Um, the back of it here, I put other flat pieces from the set, the kind of cobblestone pattern, some of the tombs here as well. Just to kind of fill it out instead of having it all kind of uh, plain looking. I, and I had this painted from before. The only thing I had to do was, I think, touch up some of the skulls. I had to paint all this part here. It wasn't painted. And I had to touch up some of the flowers and everything in the skull here. But other than that, this was ready to go. I just had to cut it up and tidy it up and everything like that. Um, other pieces that I was looking at is you have this one, which is kind of like... I don't know, like a mausoleum or some kind of tomb, like a little small church. But I couldn't get him to stand on it right. So I tried another one. I tried this one. Um, again, I just couldn't get him to work on it. Uh, the pose was really too tricky. But then when I switched to this one to have a look at it, it was, it was perfect. Um, and you'll see that now as I'm going to... Uh, put him on here. It's it's hard to put him on with the blue tack because he's so top heavy. You really have to just like push it on as hard as you can and just and pray he balances so you can get a look at him. Let me move him back here so we can get a good look. Let me get him into the center of the frame. There we go. Um. So. In the end, I'm really happy how he looks. I think it's a, a really good kind of scenic looking model and a very good scenic looking base. Um, 
I like it. Like, he, he is clownation. They're like the sneaky ninja guys. So it is very focused like that. I like him kind of like sneaking out of a or coming over like a graveyard. And as I said, anything from the future now, I'm going to try and base um, have on having these Garden of More pieces, especially uh, any more clan Asian. Um, so what what I want to do next is I want to finish up this base. I, want to, I have to paint a few other little bits, uh, clean the rim here, and add any little kind of like add the gates, any little parts like that. I'll stick them on. But one of the other things I'm wanting to do is to really make it stand out. Um, if I go down to the base here and check it out. Is I'm going to make about four or five Skaven models. Well not four, maybe three is enough. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on the base. I had one more guy here. Here he is. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them and paint them and everything and all that. But I'm not going to put them on their bases. I'm going to stick them actually onto the onto this base itself to really look like um, they're marching out of. Let's see if I can get it in focus here. As if they're marching out of uh, the graveyard and the vermin lord deceiver is up there watching them or guiding them if you want. Um, so I really wanted to, to kind of to tell a story and I wanted all to fit in and everything. So I think that's going to be a really nice looking uh, scenic base if I get it all finished. But one of the problems I had with this, and not as much with this part, but when I was wanting to do it with the other pieces, is if you haven't noticed, he is missing his tail. Now his tail is pretty big, it's, very, it's like really big and really impressive and all that, but... It's it's very awkward. It's all curved around, and I had it magnetized here, so it wasn't really much of a problem. Um, but it only kind of fitted with this piece, with this garden of more piece, because I couldn't get it to wrap around. It's very awkward to even put on there with this, but I couldn't get it to wrap around the building to get it to look comfortable or to look decent to try and fit in. I'm gonna have to fix this. And just the sooner the better, I can glue him up there. It's going to be much easier to do all this because this is a nuisance to dry fit all this. Because once this is done, he's going up on the shelf and I don't want to do anything this awkward again with him. Let me just squeeze this tail on. There we go. So it kind of turned into a thing where with the other pieces, the tail wasn't, wasn't working. I couldn't get it to fit around. But with this guy, or with this base, and this scenic piece... It's an absolute perfect fit. It fits perfectly around the entranceway. Um, and it just adds that extra bit of awesomeness to the model. And to the whole base. The only thing that I don't really... That I'm not too fond of is... I wish I could get him a bit more in the centre of the, of the base. But I'm pretty happy the way he looks now. Especially from that angle. That, I think that's awesome. I can't wait to get this finished. And all that. Um, so what I'm, so as I said before. What I'm going to have to do next is. put Add a few more little bits here. Build up uh, two or three clan rats. Specifically for this. Glue the tail. Glue him. And as you can see I've had some difficulties. Um, getting this guy off the old base. You can see two of his claws off the front here is gone. I have one of them there. And it's going to glue it on whenever he's finished doing this. But the other one unfortunately broke off as well. So I might just put the front one on to try and cover the back one. So you won't be able to see that it's missing. But I think altogether this is looking pretty good. I'm really happy how it looks now. So hopefully it'll be just as good when I finished. And this will be this will like set the level. Or I could use it as a template for doing the other bigger models. Uh, especially Tankwell. Tankwell, I'm wanting him to be the whole centerpiece for my, for all my Skaven models. For the whole army. And, I, and he's going to have to be better than this again. I really like this one and I don't know how I'm going to top it. But I want Tankwell uh, to be even better than this. So something that's going to be a big, pro big project down the line. So make sure to stay tuned for that. <laughs> and that was my work on the Skaven Vermin Lord. It's still a work in progress. It, there's still some ideas that I might add or I might, might take away. But so far the progress is looking really good. But if you guys have enjoyed this hobby video and you think it's, I'm on the right track, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to let me know if you think there's something else I can add. And what is that noise I can hear? What is... What? Who is this? Who is this fella?
MJ. MJ? Yeah. Say hello. Hello. This is why no award gets done out of this hobby shit. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button and comment and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>